Now, due to the globalization of the chemical trade, you can get the precursors to make 5-MeO-DMT, which are completely legal internationally. It's, you know, 5-methoxytryptamine is a metabolite of melatonin and produce it very inexpensively, synthetically, on as large a scale as you want. It doesn't have to involve toads at all. This is a lucky situation. There's a way to do it sustainably, and I think we should really seriously consider this. 5-MeO-DMT is a controlled substance in the United States, but I'm in Mexico where it is uncontrolled to show that this is a viable replacement for toads because I believe one person can produce enough 5-MeO-DMT to supply everyone that would ever want it. 100 grams of 5-methoxytryptamine freebase is dissolved in methanol with vigorous magnetic stirring. A thermometer probe is inserted into the methanolic 5-methoxytryptamine and the solution is cooled until it nears zero degrees Celsius. Aqueous potassium hydroxide is used to dissolve and stabilize 100 grams of sodium borohydride and the solution is transferred into an addition funnel. A second addition funnel is charged with a methanol-stabilized aqueous 37% formaldehyde solution and the dropwise addition begins. And now I'm gonna start adding the borohydride. Lone pair electrons on the basic nitrogen attack formaldehyde's carbonyl carbon, forming an imine and water. Hydride attacks the electrophilic imine carbon and electrons flow into the nitrogen, producing 5-MeO-NMT. The basic nitrogen attacks a second formaldehyde carbonyl, analogously forming a tertiary aminium ion, which is reduced again to produce 5-methoxy-dimethyltryptamine. Yes, complete transformation of the starting material. Borate salts gradually precipitate and the solvent volume is reduced by overnight heating. As the methanol evaporates, 5-MeO-DMT precipitates as a brown oil and coalesces on the surface. Pretty beautiful. Simple distillation is used to strip the remaining water, followed by purification of the crude freebase via short path vacuum distillation. We did it. Yes. And recrystallization. Hi, come here. We can obtain a preliminary result between the reference and compounds that you are synthesizing. Okay? After TLC had shown total transformation of the starting material, LCMS confirmed the product was 5-MeO-DMT. You obtain a great result between the, your reference and the sample. It works. Yeah. High five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, works. Time for questions, okay.